Hello, Infection Warriors. Welcome back to the Infection Tube. Today we're going to answer the quiz questions from our recent video on immune cells. In this screen, we will review questions one by one and their answers from our Cellular Warriors videos part one and two. If you haven't taken the quiz yet, pause this video, go take it, and come back here for the answers. Let's dive in. Sella, are you ready to test your knowledge? I'm ready, Dr. Max. Let's do this. Question one. Which cells are involved in both defending the central nervous system and contributing to neurodegenerative diseases? Um, I think it's B. dendritic cells. Good try, Sella, but the correct answer is D. macrophages. Macrophages, particularly microglia in the central nervous system, are involved in defense but can also contribute to chronic inflammation and neurodegenerative diseases. Question 2. What happens when mast cells are activated in response to an infection? I know this one. A. They release histamine and leukotrienes. That's correct, Sella. When mast cells are activated, they release histamine and leukotrienes, which contribute to the inflammatory response. Question 3. Where do dendritic cells present antigens to T cells? Um. A. Bloodstream? Not quite, Sella. The correct answer is C. Lymph nodes. Dendritic cells travel to the lymph nodes to present antigens to T cells, initiating an adaptive immune response. Question 4. After their task is completed, how are neutrophils typically cleared from the body? I think. I think it's B. They are cleared by macrophages. Absolutely right. After their mission, neutrophils are phagocytosed and cleared away by macrophages to maintain balance. Question 5. What role do natural killer cells play in the immune system? Hmm. I'll go with C presenting antigens to T cell. Close, but not quite. The correct answer is B, destroying virus infected and tumor cells. NK cells are critical in recognizing and killing these cells without prior sensitization. Question 6. Which cells are primarily responsible for allergic reactions and releasing histamine? C. Mast cells. Correct. Mast cells release histamine and other mediators that contribute to allergic reactions and inflammation. Question 7. What important role do eosinophils play in the immune system? B. B. Releasing extracellular traps filled with granules. Right again. Eosinophils release these traps to fight parasites and other pathogens. Question 8. Which type of white blood cell is the most abundant in the bloodstream and the first to arrive at an infection site? C. Neutrophils. Exactly. Neutrophils are the most abundant white blood cells and the first responders to infection sites. Question 9. What important role do dendritic cells play in the immune system? B. Presenting antigens to T cells. That's correct. Dendritic cells process and present antigens to T cells, initiating an adaptive immune response. Question 10. What is one major challenge faced by NK cells in maintaining their function? A. 
increased numbers in obesity? Actually, the correct answer is B, decreased numbers in obesity. Obesity leads to a decrease in NK cell numbers, reducing their effectiveness in immune defense. Question 11. How do NK cells recognize healthy cells to avoid attacking them? A. By detecting the absence of MHC class Y molecules. Correct. NK cells recognize healthy cells by the presence of MHC class 1 molecules, which inhibit their killing action. Last question. Question 12. In which organ do eosinophils primarily reside and play a significant role? It's C. Gastrointestinal tract. That's right, Sela. Eosinophils are primarily located in the gastrointestinal tract, where they help defend against infections. Great job, Sela, and thank you all for joining us today. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any more questions or topics you'd like us to cover, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Infection Tube for more exciting content on infectious diseases and immunity. See you in the next video. Goodbye, bye.